Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my yearly wardrobe decluttering organised with me sort my dressing room out video. It's finally here. I don't know whether this is going to be a part one or part two as these videos tend to be quite long so I will be splitting between my camera and my phone so if the quality changes that's why. Hope you're all doing really well, I hope you're excited for autumn. We're going to have a very very big sort out today so I'm going to take everything off these rails i'm currently on my knees at the moment and basically take it all off put all the summer stuff away get all the autumn winter stuff out and put it back on basically same with all the boots and things i seem to have all my boots and things out i need to put some sandals and things away i will show you what it looks like at the moment so you can see it before and then we'll see it during and after this is the current state it was messier earlier but i've literally just shoved everything in that basket for the time being because i was hoovering the room earlier so we have a mix of things out at the moment i have got some autumn bits out already but I've got so much summer stuff. As you can see, there's a lot of dresses still out and they need to go away. It's not the weather for it. And I'm more like dark colours and neutrals for autumn winter. I'm not very much like bright colours in the autumn winter. Don't know why, I just like the neutral tones and the darker kind of colours for that kind of time of the year. So as I said, we're gonna get all these bits out. I'll pop you in a time lapse first. I'll chuck it all on the floor. Actually no, I will show you what I'm going to keep and what's going to go on vintage because a lot of this stuff is gonna go on vintage also. So let's do that first. So where do we begin? I'd say this end. So I have got a dress here from Halara, which I haven't worn yet. This is perfect for summer, but I don't think I'm actually going to get the wear out of it. So this is going to go on vintage. As adorable as it is, it's not going to get the wear. All my hangers are going to stick in a bag over there, so they're not thrown all over the floor. I've got two dresses here from Everything Five Pounds. Absolutely adore these. These are going to go in storage. I'm going to have two separate piles, one for vintage and one for storage, basically. So where have we got to? So this dress here, I absolutely love this dress. This is from Rio Has, I think. They sent it me quite a while ago. This is a lovely dress. I actually wore Stalesford, that's the last time I wore that, and I feel that's lovely. So that's going to stay, go in storage, because I'll wear that. I love how neat and tidy I'm being so far. I've got a lovely play suit here, which I've had... How many years have I had this? love how I can see my naked neighbour in the window right now. <laughs> <laughs> the topless don't worry not so bad this i've had for years i bought it from boutique of molly i think um and it's very well loved i've um even broken that so but that is still staying i absolutely adore that then this dress i tend to keep out for autumn winter because this is absolutely stunning so that's gonna stay so i'll just put that back for the time being same with this dress from everything five pounds it's a very much like a holland cooper dupe that's gonna stay out because that's really nice with brown tones this on the oh do i do i keep that out that's quite a cute little number actually but realistically when i'm actually gonna wear it it's more of a summer number so yeah that will go away that's from femlocks then these bits here these are gonna go away i don't know about this I still haven't worn it, but I think I'll keep it and then bring it out next year, see if I like it. If not, it will go on vintage. They are both from In The Style, by the way, from the Trafford Fashion Outlet. Oh, sorry, you can't even see me, I just realised. Let me turn these around like that a little bit more. There we go. Is it in focus? I hope. Then we have a gorgeous dress from Rosewee. Now this I think I'll keep out because white I really like wearing with brown tones, so I'm gonna keep that out. I'm gonna keep this shirt dress. Oh, do I? Because that's quite a light quite a light material i think that's more for summer so i might put that away actually because that's from rosewear as well i quite like that so that can go in the summer bag this can go back on there i've got another shirt dress that i quite like but it's quite thick so i might keep that for autumn winter this one here not that you can see it very well but this is also going to go away for summer didn't even get any wear out of that if i'm honest i got that from the charity shop for six pound in the cotswold that is going to have to go away because it's not the season for it. Then I've got a dress from a New Look, which is this brown puff sleeve one. That, that's staying out, that really needs the iron. Same with this, this will stay out. This is a nice thick white dress. For autumn, that can stay out. Then pretty much all of these dresses next are gonna go in storage. While this one, this one's quite tight on the arms. This is from Timu. So that's gonna go on vintage there. It's a bit too tight for me. Then I've got this dress from Joe Brown's, which I love, and then this one from Petal Lush, which I absolutely adore. They're gonna go in storage. Next we have a lovely dress that's from Amazon. Absolutely adore that. This dress is from Ratisa, I'll keep that out. Again, love wearing that with browns. This dress from Timu is gonna go away. This dress from Joe Brown's again is going to go away. This one from Chi Chi Clothing is going to go away. 
and this gorgeous one I got from Depot which is a Dolce Gabbana dupe that's going to go away as well that's also oh I don't know whether to keep that because I don't really wear these colours that much on vintage actually so I'll put that there I'll just hang on Adam shoe or not um for the time being um this dress I absolutely adore from Amazon it's a nice knitted one but it's going to be a bit cold for that now and then I've got a gorgeous dress that I picked up in Tenerife that has not been worn um, I knew I wouldn't end up wearing it anyway because it was coming to the end of summer. This is a gorgeous silk number. That's going to go in storage. I'll put these away and come back to you. Okay, carrying on. I hope this is in focus. Yeah, it is. So I've got this gorgeous dress from Bershka that's only had one outing so far, but this is a summer dress, so this is going to have to go away. <sighs> I don't think there's any other way to wear this unless I wore cream boots with it. A jacket that would look quite cute but i'm not going anywhere fancy so yeah i'm gonna have to put it away a bit gutted about that but it will come out next summer so it's absolutely fine this dress from rosewee is really lovely it fits gorgeous but i don't know if it's me i really like it on but i'm like am i actually gonna get my wear out of it because i could wear it on a holiday but like is there any point keeping it just for holiday it fits gorgeously and i'm gonna have to get rid of it because there's no point in keeping something that I'm not really going to wear. But this is so nice. It's going to go on my vintage. So anyone wants to buy any bits from me that I'm, set, that I'm putting on my vintage, go ahead. They're going up for like literally £3 a dress. So go get yourself a bargain. If not, they end up in the charity shop. So go and buy them off my vintage. These dresses here. This one is River Island. And this one is Chi Clothing. All this to my brother's wedding. All this in at Tenerife. Also wore this in Tenerife. This is from ASOS Design. Gorgeous dress very elegant but they're gonna go away as we can tell in the summer i really like my pastels and like kind of bright colors and then in the winter i'm just like dark and neutrals and i like neutrals in summer anyway but you know what i mean i've got this dress here from femlux which hasn't actually had an outing since my brother's 30th birthday so that's been a fair while so this might have to come with vintage because it's just not gonna get the wear this is absolutely stunning on if i have a picture i'll put it on screen so you can see what it looks like on and it'll be on my vintage then I've got this dress from Cider that has only been worn in Tenerife last year. Now I feel like I need to wear this up in autumn because I feel like it's more that kind of vibe. So I'll keep that out. I've got two dresses from Zara here. I've got this neon green one and a white one. This is going to go in the storage bag because no way am I wearing that in autumn winter because I will absolutely freeze. Fair play to the girls that go out with like these dresses in the winter and no coats. Girls, that time for me, that is gone. I cannot go out without a coat <laughs> if i'm going out 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 not like i really go out out anymore like i much prefer staying in watching the telly with my man and a takeaway rarely have a takeaway but you know what i mean what am i doing with this hanger <laughs> so we have some jackets here from this one's from primark and then this one's from sort of these are going to stay out actually all of these jackets will stay out to be fair i've got one from pull and bear here this one's a little bit tight on me but i do not want to let that go yet yeah, i want to get some more out of it but this from h&m which i love I've got this Zara blazer that sh I bought this for like £35 and still hasn't been worn yet. I really need to wear this. It's just having an occasion to wear it. I've got this gorgeous jacket from Naked Fashion, which I love. Always wear that autumn and spring. I've got this that always comes out all year round from H&M. And then I've got a pink blazer here from Generic London. And then I've got this blazer here from Primark. I'm not so sure about that blazer. I don't know whether I'll keep that because that hasn't actually been out in quite some while, or quite a while. And it's a size four, so that might be a bit tight now. So that can go on vintage too. So if you'd like that, that will be on my vintage for super cheap. Really nice quality actually for product. But I just don't get my wear out of it, so there's no point me keeping it. I've got this blazer from Pixie Girl that will stay out. I've got another blazer from Primark. Literally gives me Holland Cooper vibes. Look at how nice that quality is gorgeous really love that I've had that a few years I've got a fleece from h&m which is going to stay out of course and then a bomber jacket from primark which i love so they will be staying out too more hangers and i've got this trench that was sent to me from new lot which will be staying out because that's such a good versatile piece to have throughout autumn winter so that will be staying exactly where it is so that's the top rail done for the time being until we get more bits out now we're going to go on the floor and get the bottom bits out. If you don't mind, I'd put you down there for the time being. I've got so many shoes I need to swap too. Like, all the wedges are going to go away. I've got these in there. I've got these that haven't even been worn this year. But I don't think I'll ever let go of them because they're such good Valentino dupes. But they just need fixing. 
I actually think I said that in the last vlog that they need fixing, so I might leave them out so I can get Adam to glue them before I put them away. They can go away. These strappy heels I tend to keep out because they go with a lot of things, so I might keep them out for autumn winter. I've got my Timberlands here. I need to get all this out anyway because it's literally such a mess under there. I've got my Carvella trainers that Adam got me for my birthday. I've got these from Everything Five Pounds. They're literally Dior dupes. I say they're not really cheap, so they're just like a Dior pattern. But yeah, they were sent to me from Everything Five Pounds. They're brand new. I haven't worn them yet. So I'm going to wear them at some point. I might keep these out. These are quite handy. These are from everything £5 actually. These were dupes of Manolo Blanik. So get yourself some of them off um, everything £5 because they're very good dupes. So I've got these sandals here which I'm going to put away. Oh, my tripod's just fell over. Whoops. And I've got my Hermes sandal dupes from Primark, which was £7. They're going to go away. It's just not the weather for it now. I've got a pair of like Gucci dupes here from everything £5. I think I'll keep them out. Well, same as these from TK Maxx. I absolutely adore them. They're going to stay out too. And I've got some... I didn't even wear these. These have only had like one outing. These are from Primark. They can go away as well. But they're... I'll always keep them because they're so versatile. But I've just not really worn them. God, there's so much stuff. What else we got? We've got some heels here. I'm going to have to keep them too because like, there's no point in getting rid of them because I'll just go with... You know when you come to a night out and you're like, oh, I need some black heels? Here we go. So I'll keep them anyway. Versatile, as I like to say. And then I've got some feeler trainers here. I've got my pink ones and my orange ones. I'll keep them out also. So, moving on to this rail. I've got so many shorts that I've literally spotted straight away that they're going to go away straight away. Apart from faux leather ones because they go with so much. I recently bought these black ones, so they will go on that same hanger. Also, a little tip, to save yourself some space if you are limited on space with your wardrobe, if you put more than one item on a hanger, it saves you so much space, that's what I tend to do. For those that don't know that hack, more shorts that are going to go in storage. Consider how I started the year with like one pair of shorts. I'm doing good closing off the summer season with, what is that, like six pairs of shorts? Oh God, the pile is just huge. Then we've got a pair of pink trousers. Now these don't really get worn, so I'm going to put them on the vintage pile. They're from everything £5. So I've got some leggings. I literally love my leggings there. Not going to go anywhere. These are going to have to go away because they're for summer. I've got a pair of M&S trousers from the charity shop and also some trousers from Cupshe. I don't know whether to keep these or not because they're not really my sort of colour. So I think I might stick them on vintage and they can go in the storage pile. These are some really nice trousers from River Island that will be staying. Got, oh, I still haven't worn these. These trousers from Bershka I picked up from Tenerife last year. Still got the tags on, still haven't worn them. But they're very Y2K vibes and like, they're not my vibes. But they were really cute on and you know when you're just like, do I keep them, do I not? Why did I buy them at 15 99 Sale by the way. And then think, I did think that like after I bought them, I was like, am I actually going to wear these? They're really cool. They're really cool. That actually reminds me of Bella Stovey, actually. She's a really cool influencer. She's got, like, really cool, like, vintage Y2K vibes style. She's really cool. I love her style. I feel like this is kind of her, her sort of thing. I don't know. I think they're low rise as well. But what would I wear them with? I could wear them with a jumper. No. I, I'll put them on vintage. They're going on vintage. They're not getting worn. I need to be realistic here. <laughs> Got some trousers here from H&M that I recently bought. Got some flares from Boohoo. Adam's jeans there. Right, all that stuff can just stay where it is. I've got some skirts. That can stay because I really like that skirt. This is from Everything £5. And then I've got that matching Zara skirt to the blazer that I showed you. Then we have some skirts from Halara. Super cute. I don't think I'll keep the pink one though. So I'm not really that much of a pink girly. So that can go on. Vintage, I'll keep this skirt. This is actually really cute. Um, because I could wear this with a jumper or something. Actually adorable. So where's where does that go? Oh, this is confusing. I remember how confusing this was when I first tried it on in that halara hole. So let's just tie that together. Very cute skirt that is. Really should actually wear that. And then I've got this cute little blue one. I feel like that's good to wear for getting stuff done around the house, but then I'm like, I'm actually really cute with that. This would look cute with a few summer bits. So I'll put that in the summer pile actually. And then this one can stay out because it's an autumn colour. So that is that done. Get to there. Um, then I've got some pleated skirts and it's stock. I've got this one from Sheen and then this one from, I think it's Boohoo. 
No, it's H&M, but I've got it off Depop. No, I've been here, sorry, for like £3. They're staying out. And then I've got lots of skirts here. So, which ones can go out? I'll keep the satin one out. This literally still hasn't been worn yet, but I'm going to keep that for next season. Need to make myself wear that. Same as this. Haven't worn this yet. That can stay because I think that's adorable. But that will be kept for next summer. Now, I always keep this skirt out for autumn winter because it's really cute with beige top or any colours that are in that skirt. And then I've got this satin satin skirt, but this has got like a high split on it. So I'm not sure about that. No, that would actually look really cute with some boots, actually. So that, that can stay out. That'll look really cute with boots and a white top or jumper with my brown jacket. So they're staying out. This can go away because this is more for summer. Eh, there we go. Wore that a lot in, uh, where was it? Tenerife. Then this is going to stay out because this would be quite cute over jeans or something. So I'll keep that out so it doesn't mean worn. But, you know. This top from Bella Poke is actually really cute. But I'm like, the camera literally is about to die. So I might have to film the rest of this on my phone until it the camera charges. But we'll go until it dies and then we'll swap over to the phone. I've got this top from Bella Poke. I don't know whether to keep it or not because I feel like it's not that versatile. Like I feel like I can only wear it with like blue jeans or something because I'm... I'm a bit funny like that. Now, I think this is going to have to go, to be fair. So, that's going to go on vintage. That's still got the tags in. Only ever been worn once for a reel. Then I've got this top from Ibiza. That still hasn't been worn, but it's like a memorabilia thing. So, that's going to have to go back in at that pile. This top's very versatile. That's going to stay out. This top from Pit Lock the Thing, I have not worn in ages. So, I feel like that might have to go on vintage because I just don't wear it. And it's not overly comfortable because it's got these... Um, the boning in it so that's gonna have to go as much as i love it this top also not that versatile with the color it's a gorgeous top it might go with like white jeans but there's just not a lot to wear it with could wear it with it no I'm just placing it next i don't like it with black i like it with neutral tones go with that no i think i'll just let go of that it's not that versatile so that can go on vintage this top can stay got this from the traffic fashion outlet for like three quid so that can stay. I've got my Holland Cooper jumper. That is not going anywhere. I literally bought that yesterday. Then I've got this matching set here. I absolutely love this. Well, it's not even a matching set. As you can see, it's two different tones of brown, but it looks like a set. This is from H&M and these trousers from Primark. So that can stay out alongside this cohort from New Look. Nice knitted cohort. Haven't worn this this year, so I'm, I might let go of this. It's a really nice set, but it's just, I don't think it's me anymore. It's just like the younger version of me that, um, you know, I just really my vibe anymore but these dungarees that i haven't worn in ages i'll keep them out just in case i wear them because i do like them i've had them for quite some time but this set here i haven't even worn that i might have to let go of that too because i've had it a couple of years and i haven't worn it so this is going to go on vintage too so they're both from primark tops of primark and the cargo is so small and a size eight i think or a six so they're going to go on vintage i've got my loungewear here um i've got this set from trafford fashion outlet gymshark via the trafford tra tra Trafford Fashion Outlet. Got this set here that isn't a set. H&M top and Primark trousers, but they literally are like pretty much the same material, so I call them a set. And they're staying. I wore them earlier and I was just so hot today, even though it's the 1st of October. I've got this set from Lounge, which I'm good at. They don't sell anymore, but I absolutely love it. I love the way... Where's the waist back? Look at that. So nice with the wide legs. So I love that set. And then I've got all my gym wear, which I don't think any of them I'll be getting rid of. I've got so much of it. It's actually ridiculous. Oh, that's coming off, so I have to put that back. I don't have the matching top for this, so I would like to get the matching top back for that, because the one that I had before was just too small for me. The, the boobs have got a bit too big for the, the sports bra it was in, because it was an extra small. And now I need a size medium for sports bras from Gymshark, because their sizing is a bit... It's not all. It's not very inclusive sometimes, is it? So I feel like they need to work on that. But yeah, I've got all gym wear stuff. I feel like I might... That is a little bit tight sometimes. This is from Blakely. It's a bit tight on the arms. I might have to let go of that too because I'm not really going to wear it. I've hardly worn it too well. That can go on vintage as well. I've got so much stuff to put on vintage. But that is the clear out done. Now, uh, is there any other shoes? Actually, there's some shoes under here that need to go in storage. These are trusty sandals from Primark. We can go in storage. What else have I got in here? I hope I don't come across a spider because I do not want to be doing that. Thank you very much. They can go into there, my little Vantino, Roxids and Dupes. They can stay in there, right. And as I said, the camera was dying and it's died on me. So, I've got some bits to tidy up. I'll show you the pile behind me. <laughs> it's a state. And then we'll get the autumn wind stuff out of the cupboard. And put it all back in. So, this is the pile that we have. 
this is what's going away and this is what's going on vintage let's just pretend there's a line there so i'm going to put this all away and get all the stuff out of the cupboard Yeah, I have no words either, guys. <laughs> you know when we did this last year, or last season? I didn't realise how much stuff I had. So I think we might have to let go of some of this as well. Because I don't think it's going to fit in here. Oh my gosh. Let's go. We've got a lounge set here that I love, so like, randomly. I'm talking crap right now. I hope you enjoyed this video so far. And, like, let me know if you prefer the sped up version of these videos. Or you actually like me talking through what I have in my wardrobe. Because I personally do like watching the ones that um, a mix of both, to be fair. Yeah, let me know. Because I like to see what's in people's wardrobes. And, like, where they're from and bits. Oh, my God. This is just getting thicker. Oh, I don't know how I'm going to fit all this on there. To be quite honest. How is it? Oh, I've got a good 45 minutes. That's not too bad. Okay, where do I even start? Oh, wow. You know when you, like, regret starting something? I can't go out in an hour. Oh, God. Uh, right, let's get cracking. We'll just have to do it. We've got a jumper from in the style. I do absolutely love this. This is going on there. Oh, how am I actually going to do this? I'm going to put jumpers at the bottom like I did before. I'm going to have to, aren't I? Because it's just going to get too heavy. So, we'll keep it in the way it is at the moment. There's another hanger that I could utilise. Loungewear. Maybe it could go near the loungewear. I think that's where the jumpers can go because they're cohorts. That can change round there. Oh no, if they're cohorts, I'll put that the wrong way around. So that can go there and then jump it. Yeah, let's do it that way. Oh, don't want to snap my hair now. We've got a in style set here that I always live in every single autumn winter, ever since we moved in. So that is definitely going in the lounge section. Love how wrinkly this is. <laughs> I should realistically air all this, but nobody gets out of it, let's be honest. Definitely not today, so let's put this one away. Sorry that like I've had to flip between my camera and my phone, but I'm filming like two different videos today. <laughs> and then I filmed the Bista Village one yesterday, so I've not got enough memory on that either. So you got lots of goodness coming though, guys. So um, I hope you enjoy. I've got this lovely jumper from Zara. I absolutely love this. This looks really nice with some faux leather leggings or jeans. I can't wait to wear this again. I literally love the stripe. That's going to go in there with the jumpers. A lovely dress. I haven't worn this in quite some time. I was contemplating on keeping that actually. So I wasn't quite sure what to do with it, but I was like, you know what, party season gives me an option, doesn't it? So I'll pop that in there. Where should I put it? I need to sort this out. I always do this. I put the hangers in my mouth. I really shouldn't. Yeah, don't do what I do. Because this is definitely a bad idea for your teeth. But it helps me. Even though I could literally just put it on the floor like a normal person, but I have to be awkward don't i so pretty dresses can go at the end i've got a lovely lovely sequin number that i got from in the style i think it's like a fiver or something a couple of years ago before we moved out really really love this was from my leaving day of my old job actually very gorgeous number so that needs to be folded also another good thing like if you've got like a wardrobe like mine and you don't want the dresses to like snag like fold them inside the hangers that really helps it doesn't save as much space but it stops them from snagging so next thing is we've got a jacket from primark absolutely adore this goes with so much of my wardrobe with these colors because i'm not a fan of the other ones that i've seen this was the only one that i liked as much as i like dark colors i didn't like it in the jackets but this one i really like and it's got poppers so i like that because we know i don't like my buttons because i'm weird but you know we love it i've got some leggings and some trousers okay how am i gonna do this let's put them like that oh my god they're so wrinkly put them together save some space these are from manny adabara these are so nice and then these ones are from new lock but um them ones are actually from vintage because the ones i had before were a size six and uh i'm not a size six anymore which i don't mind at all because the gain weight the weight gain journey was fantastic and i'm now a size eight and i could not be happier that i've gained weight so they're Ah, my finger. Um, they're a size 8. Right, where am I going to pop them? This is probably going to be like the sloppiest thing because I've got a rush. <laughs> so I've got to go out soon. Right, that can go there. Oh, oh, they can just go over there. 
I've got a jumper dress that I got from Vinted, which is from H&M here. I'm glad I've got so many hangers again because it really helps. Oh my god, it's so warm and I need to open the window. <laughs> So this is 21 degrees to get today for October. Like, could this have not happened in the summer? Because it would have been very, very helpful. Right, well, I'm going to pop this. This has to go there. Put the air back oh, on. You scared the life out of me. Put the air back on. <laughs> to talk to my camera. Oh, thank you. I thought I heard it go off. Yeah, we've got an hour on it. Yeah, an hour time on it. It's stressing me out. <laughs> I've got these cargo. Oh, do I? Will I wear these this time around? I do really like these, but I feel like I'm not. This isn't my style anymore. So I might have to stick on vintage actually. I don't think they're me. I've got a few of them. I've got these as well. I just don't think they're me anymore. They're in the vintage bag. I really like my autumn winter stuff, don't I? Right, that can just be shoved in there because I'll sort that out afterwards. They need to be hung up. I really like these jumpers. These are from Primark. They're really good for just like layering. So wrinkly. I definitely do not need any more jumpers because this is why it's best for me to do this before I shop. But you know me bit of a shopaholic sometimes when I want to be but to be fair I don't shop um how I did when I was younger I used to buy things from Primark every other week and uh, I don't do that now thankfully but as much as I love Primark I hardly ever buy anything from there anymore unless it's like little bits or there's like something in there that I really like and this is from Primark this is from like a couple of seasons ago really like that I'm flapping them so that they don't get um stuck when I put them in I've got a fleece top from Greta. Yeah, I got this off Amazon last year. Um, mainly bought this for skiing, to be honest. But it's nice to just throw on for like work or something. Or on like a cold day if you want to go for a walk. So I like that. Oh, that look quite nice with... Oh, the Mulholland Cooper Gilo, actually, when it's like super cold. I'm going to put that. I might stick that in the loungewear section. I'll put it with the jumpers. Got another long sleeve top that can be shoved in there. We've got these... What are these? Walking trousers, that's what they're called. Um, I've got them, which where can I put them on? They can go on with these trousers actually. Save some space. I don't feel like I'm doing a very good job of this because I've got, <laughs> I've got a rush. You know, when you rush, you don't do things as good as when you don't have to rush, but I've been cleaning all morning in a separate video and now it comes to this and I'm like, oh God, should have done this earlier, but dresses as well, what's this? Oh yeah, I'll get rid of them cargoes. I've just gone off them. They're just not my style anymore. My style's changed massively. I don't feel like these, yeah, I'll get rid of them as well. I used to wear them to work. They can go, they don't need half this stuff. These can stay, because these match my cardigan, actually. They can go on the same hanger as the cardigan when I get to that point. Where is it though? It's literally here. I'll put it the same one. Falling over all the boots now. Oh my God, I've just realized I'm actually really hungry again. It's not long eating. But you know like when you, you're just on the go constantly and you're like oh, burning all the energy. But this cardigan is from Femlock. I'm going to sneeze. Oh, bless me. I'm literally about to weigh myself in. <laughs> oh, God. Right, this can go in the loungewear section. There. Oh, this is the only thing with autumn winter. Like, there's not enough room. Oh, we've got all this bit to go yet. <laughs> I want to do this to myself. Right, this can go. I have to go on its own angle actually. Oh my god, I've literally stuff around everywhere. Right, this can go on the same one as this. This gilet is from Debenhams. I've had this for absolutely years. It literally looks just like a Fairfax and Flavour gilet. Got it in the charity shop for like four quid many years ago. And always kept it because it's a very nice piece. And then I've got this HM gilet as well. So I seem to really like my gilets this year. They can go there. That fleece can swap round. Go to that end. Got a cardigan here. This is from Zara. This is a very nice, easy throw on cream cardigan. Mm -hmm. done we've finally transitioned over to autumn winter and it looks so good nice and tidy again to an extent shall we say i don't have that much room for all the boots so i definitely have too many boots so it might come to a point where i might need to let go of like at least two pairs but i don't know which ones because it might be these but these are quite nice from koi footwear i quite like them but 
Let's see if I get anywhere out of them this season. So I will go through what we have. So we've got the bags all up here as per usual. I've sorted out all the tops that are in here. This is my gym tops, t-shirts, belts and random little tops. I've got my dark boots there, my light boots there, some little flats and heels there. I've got a mixture of shoes underneath there because there's literally nowhere else to put them. And then we've got, it looks like kind of colour coordinated in a way. I've got like the trousers here, the shorts some skirts i've got a top there some co-ords knitwear loungewear bits loungewear bottoms all the gym wear here all the hoodies all this section is adam's side there so i do not touch that so we have all like the party season dresses here this is a gorgeous um butterfly dress that i pull out every year i've had it for absolutely years um, probably come up to like maybe eight years or something but i've got a dress here but these are all like the party season dresses literally there for like christmas and you know that kind of season i've got like my day kind of dresses here and then i've got some knitted dresses we're going into the knitwear here we've got some sweaters um holland cooper bits i've got the gilets there some fleeces all the jackets and the blazers and like longer coats and things so that is all of that done basically i put all the scarves that i've got in this basket as well as my swimwear that i've got and then I've, my voice went funny then i need to have a drink i think sorry about that so i've got my hats in there as well and i'll just pop my wellies there for the time being I've got the hangers in this bag and then i've got this jaily coat that i actually shot yesterday but there's nowhere for me to put it for the time being so i'm just going to keep it there i've put the holland keeper bits up there it doesn't look overly tidy but it, they don't fit any other way because i've got the welly box and i should really like recycle it but you know it's like a it's very nice um, packaging so and then i put the other bits up there this was the belt box from holland cooper i've got the hermes box there i really need to get a drink and then the little chanel box there and then adam's bits and things here this needs to go downstairs but yeah that's it it's all done in the office we have three bags worth of things that are going on vintage so the two bags there are bits that are already on vinted and this whole bag is yet to go on vinted so if you want to buy any of the bits that you spotted that you like the look of there's all sorts of things that i've shot that i'm um putting on vinted that aren't for me that are going on there too wow these boots are really to clean um i'm not sure if i'm actually gonna let go of these or not yet but they're like prada dupes so they're in there as well so that is that done we have come to the end of today's video i do hope you have enjoyed this video as much as it's been a mess you've had an insight into my wardrobe what i've got for this season i don't plan on buying anything else apart from some new black boots because i don't have any flat black boots um they're all like you know the knee high ones i need a pair of them i feel like that's something i'm missing um other than that i've got everything i need for autumn winter there's so much stuff that it's really heavy on the rail so i really hope you enjoyed this video if you have please do give it a big thumbs up comment down below and don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you very very soon for a brand new video bye